Five years ago, La Barba Coffee started with Levi Rogers, uh, Tim Walzer, Sam Dreger, and myself sitting around a table in Salt Lake City designing a coffee roasting concept focused on specialty coffee to be the first one in Utah aimed at scale. Nash Martinez lights yet to be unveiled. These sort of like cloud things happening up here. Five years into our approach, uh, we feel really confident in our mission of providing good coffee for everyone in Utah. So why did we choose to do specialty coffee in Draper? We chose to bring it here because we felt like this was a really good expression of what we're trying to do. Joe Evans, who works for La Barba, has a lot of skills. One of them is interior design. We wanted him to be able to bring this full expression of specialty coffee to Draper using his design skills, bringing good coffee, bringing just an environment that's not here yet. It's like all this, just a super rare, beautiful wood with brass fittings. These shelves and all the tables and, and everything for the shop came from a barn that was in Draper, then moved to Sandy and was torn down. It's a few hundred years old, the wood that we milled down, made really beautiful, and Colby at Salted Grain uh, made them look even better. We believe that good coffee should be for everyone, uh, not just the people who understand it. So that's why we chose Draper, a place that may be currently not on your radar as a specialty coffee hub, but it's who we are and what we want to do and how we want to express uh, ourselves as a company. We even painted the uh, light fixtures up there. So just about every decision that we make at La Barba hopefully and probably makes traditional specialty coffee fans raise their eyebrow and wonder what we're doing. Going into grocery, large-scale grocery, uh, going into neighborhoods that traditional specialty coffee roasters probably wouldn't go into. But that's an expression of our mission to bring good coffee to everyone in Utah. That's why we chose Draper. It wasn't on the radar of a lot of other specialty coffee roasters, but there are a lot of people in Draper who are probably going to come here and enjoy uh, what we're trying to build here. The espresso machine. Pretty stoked on. Pieces by E3 Modern that they made custom for us, designed by Nelson Hansen. And over here, the neon sign by Brimley Neon, currently not turned on. We're trying to make good coffee accessible to everyone, not just people who get it. So that's why we went into Whole Foods as one of the early, especially coffee roasters that Whole Foods put in there. That's why we went into Harmon's. That's why Smith's, that's why Sprouts, is that we want to get really good coffee into the hands of uh, everyone, every consumer in Utah who wants to drink coffee. That's who we are, that's who we're trying to be. Uh, and candidly, that's how a company in Utah, a coffee company in Utah grows. You gotta be accessible to more people, not just the people who entirely understand specialty coffee. Yeah. That's good.